That sounds nice. Right? What's up YouTube? Well, as you could probably see by now and by the title of the video, you probably guessed it, uh, I went with the Raptor 700. This is my 2019 Yamaha Raptor 700. And uh, to those of you who thought maybe I was getting the Grizzly or the YFZ450R, uh, let me just tell you guys, this has been one of the hardest decisions of my life. This was a very hard decision. But at the end of the day, I could really only afford to pick one right now. Um, picking this quad right here was a long and hard decision, but I'm really happy with the one that I picked. I did pick the base model. I do plan on replacing the front shocks and the front suspension anyhow, so to me it didn't really make sense to get the SE or the R model, which was not a Raptor 700R or an RSE, the special edition. This is just a straight uh, Raptor 700. So. So aside from the color, the main differences with the R and the SE versus this uh, regular base model version, the 700, uh, the front shocks obviously, the heel guards, uh, the rear shocks are also different. I, um, so basically the suspension, the heel guards, and the fenders. So if all those things are something that you're planning on replacing anyhow, uh, it makes sense to just go ahead and buy the cheaper model and then buy the aftermarket mods, the aftermarket upgrades that you're planning on buying anyhow rather than buy the expensive version and then buy all the aftermarket mods anyhow. I decided that I was going to be replacing the front shocks. I already had some front A-arms picked out that I planned on installing 
and then I didn't mind replacing the rear heel guards. For me, the base model worked out. They had one in stock, which also made it even more convenient. Uh, this is it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly, what you think. Uh, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, you know, but the Raptor 700 is what it is. It's a really fun quad to ride. Uh, some of the reasons why I decided to go with the Raptor 700 um, over the 450. Uh, the 450 was a little bit more expensive. Um, it did have some nicer shocks, like I mentioned before, and it's a little bit wider. But if you're gonna be replacing the A-arms, the front A-arms, and you're gonna be replacing your front shocks anyhow, um, it really doesn't make sense to buy um, a machine that costs all that much extra. Uh, the 450 is a great machine. I really have no complaints about it at all. Uh, the lack of reverse really wasn't a deciding factor for me. I don't really use reverse a lot. I will use it if I have it. It is kind of nice to have. I Backing on and off the truck, loading up, um, it is kind of nice to have it going up and down the ramps, but it really wasn't a deciding factor. To be honest, I know a lot of people said um, in the comments, you know, having reverse would be something that, you know, they would miss if they had a 450 versus a Raptor, but um, it really wasn't a deciding factor. I do like the fact that it does have the reverse, but it really wasn't something that I was it wasn't something that I was gonna rule the 450 out. Now the Grizzly looks like a fun quad. I did really strongly consider the Grizzly. Um, I know a lot of you guys said, go with the Grizzly, go with the Grizzly. And I'm, I have to admit, it does sound like it would be a lot of fun to get another four wheel drive uh, utility style quad. Something that could really just go through the deep mud and snow and carry a lot more cargo, a lot more uh, gas, a lot more uh, gear for the camping trips and expeditions deep into the woods. That does sound like a lot of fun and I do see myself possibly purchasing one of those down the road. But for now, the Raptor 700, um, it really just meets my needs. And so getting back to the 700, um, it's just an all around great trail quad. Uh, we have a 2008 Raptor 700 if you don't follow the channel. Uh, please feel free to watch some of our other uh, videos about uh, Bruiser, our Raptor 700. I bought it used uh, off of Craigslist and I uh, repaired as much as I could to get it back on the road. And it still actually runs. We still have it. I haven't sold Bruiser. I don't know if I could ever get rid of Bruiser. My wife Twinkles will probably never forgive me. She absolutely loves that four-wheeler. So, so the final tally, now we have two Raptors and two Banshees and one YXZ1000R. Uh, so look forward to more Raptor and Banshee videos. I'm sorry for those of you who are the YFZ450 fans that I recently sold my carbureted YFZ450. I know you were hoping I would get a fuel-injected YFZ450R, but unfortunately I just wasn't able to do it this time around. Maybe the next time I go ATV shopping I'll consider it and we'll have a head-to-head -head 450 versus the Grizzly. Uh, competition to see which one uh, you guys think I should get so so thank you everyone who's been watching the videos thank you for watching trail blogger those of you who just maybe found the channel thanks for coming on board with us and don't forget to like this video subscribe please hit that bell icon and get notified of future trail blogger videos like this one like I mentioned before we have a lot of Banshee and trail blogger Raptor uh, videos coming up here pretty soon we also have a, a YXZ 1000 R side by side uh, that we're going to be posting some videos of that also so uh, look forward to seeing videos here on the trail soon it's been some beautiful weather here in northern california and um, i can't wait to get out there and ride this thing as you guys could probably guess i have a whole bunch of mods lined out for this thing i've got an exhaust system already that i plan on installing with a fuel programmer shocks front a arms i've got some uh, upgraded heel guards I want to install and uh, an air intake. Look forward to those mods and maybe some more coming up soon on the channel. Thanks again for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.
and one last thing I almost forgot guys for those of you who followed through the whole video and watched the whole thing um, I am gonna be doing a giveaway uh, I want you guys to guess what is the first mod that I'm going to do on this Raptor I want you guys to guess in the comments below what are the mods I'm gonna be doing to this what is the very first mod that I'm gonna be doing to this Raptor um, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different mods but I want you to guess what is the very first mod that I'm gonna post once I get started on the project. Take a guess in the comments below, guys. If this was your brand new 2019 Yamaha Raptor, what's the very first thing that you would put on there? Take a guess, put it in the comment below. The first person to guess the right mod will get a $50 gift certificate. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified of future Trail Blogger videos.